Buongiorno Rossoneri, buongiorno. I hope you guys are all fantastically well in what is, what, four hours to kick off, guys. Milan versus RB Salzburg. Guys, uh, San Siro has responded. 80,000 fans are due to attend tonight's game in what will be a super-packed San Siro Stadium. Uh, listen... Uh, Milan need require a win or a draw to qualify as runners up behind Chelsea for the next phase of the Champions League knockout stages. Vitally, vitally important that Milan make it, not just from a financial aspect, it's also good for the experience because Milan have only just recently got back into the Champions League and winning tonight or qualifying tonight would mean that they've done something more than what they did last season where they failed at the group stages. For this young team, it would be super... Um, it, would be, it would be a tremendous achievement for them given that they've only just now, because the team on average is the 23, 24-year-old team. So it will be so, so important for them to qualify tonight. So look, we'll go through the team, what's likely to face uh, RB Salzburg tonight. Uh, Tatarosano looks like he's going to be taking his, he will keep his place because Mike Mignon is still out. So Tatarosano will be in goal. At right back would be uh, number 20, Kalulu. Number 23, Tomori will play centre back alongside number 24. Simon Kier, number 19, Theo Hernandez will take his place as a left back in the middle of the park. We're going to play in the 4 2 3 1, but a two in midfield will be number eight, Sandro Tonali, alongside number four, Ismail Benasser, with number 33, Krunic, in front of him, in just a little bit further up the pitch. On the left hand side will be number 17, Rafael Leal. On the right-hand side, Ante Rebic will get the nod. Number 12, Ante Rebic will get the nod on the right-hand side. And up front, we will start with number 9, Olivier Giroud. That's the team that's likely to make, make it from the start. We will have, of course, uh, Charles de Quetelet, Ibrahim Diaz, Origi, um, Junior Macias. There's many options, valid options. That can come on from the bench to impact the game in a positive way, should it be required. Why Krunic? Why Ante Rebic? I think Ante Rebic is one of those players that could give you something special. If he's on his game and he's on his night, he could be an absolute nightmare for any defenders. Unfortunately, he has this tendency where he could give you his best or his worst. Let's hope tonight he is on, on it from the off. Krunic provides us a little bit more balance in the midfield. I think Brahim and probably Charles de Catello is not playing as well. Uh, a more of an attacking option, which is probably what you want in that sort of situation. But Krunic does give a little bit more balance and helps out. From a defensive point of view, it does help out a little bit more in the midfield, allowing perhaps Ante Rebic and Leo on the other side to be playing a little bit more further up, closer to Giroud. That's how we're going to be setting up tonight. Listen, the magnitude of the tie is there. The importance of the tie is there. Let's hope the referee, unlike the game, the last home game that Milan played versus Chelsea, doesn't prove doesn't prove to be the the, the, the negative point of the night as it was the last home game that we was there. Tomori, like I said, he's back in the team. He's served his suspension. He's back and available at a time where Milan need them the most. For me, right now, this is but the best team that Milan could probably field, given the run of Diaz might feel a little bit unlucky, perhaps not to claim his number 10 spot in that area there. Um, but <clears throat> the coach has opted. Um, the coach, Pioli, who's fresh of a new contract to 2025, um, is opted for something a bit more covered in mid middle of the park because the, it, we don't Milan do not need a, a, a win. It's not a must win game. Even a point will suffice. So we have to play the match, get the fans on board, 
make that make that stadium tonight an absolute fortress. Eighty thousand have to be complete. Drum the noise down of the away fans and really give the team the massive push they require to go and get those three points. Like I said, less than four hours to kick off. The nerves will be rising and rising and rising the closer we get to kick off. But all that matters tonight, come 10, 10.30 p.m., we find Milan qualified. I would love to come back on here to give you a post-match discussion in that having celebrated Milan qualifying for the latter stages of the knockouts. Guys, let me know in the comments below how you feel this game is going to go. How do you see Milan? Uh, how do you see Milan going? How do you, Salzburg, could they be a problem for Milan? And if so, where do you see the dangers? The centre forward looks like is uh, Ogfer, I think his name is. He's a uh, he looks mustard. He's a quality, quality player. So I'm definitely one to keep an eye out for. Strong, strong, and very technical as well. So definitely have to have a wits about us regarding him. How do you see this game going? Are you pumped for tonight's game? Put it in the comments below, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't really done so. And of course, for tonight in Italy, there's only one team, Forza Milan. <laughs>